What's going on everybody? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. Today we're going to be showing you how to perform a hip flexor stretch and how to perform it properly. So this is an exercise that I always see a lot at the gym, people stretching their hip flexors and not doing it properly. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I've seen it being done improperly and I'm going to show you how to perform it properly. So this is what I normally see at the gym. A lot of just low back arching and just not really moving at your hip joint. What's going on here is basically you're just hanging on to the passive structures in your low back and you're not stretching your hip at all and you're not doing it properly. Other things that I've seen as well is people going into, into end range of knee bend and doing the couch stretch where they basically bring the heel right to their bum and that's just not going to be very comfortable for you when you get into those positions. So. So basically the proper setup for the stretch is you want to have 90 degrees of knee bend on both the front and back leg. And you also want 90 degrees of hip bend. So you're in this 90-90 position. You're going to put your hands on your pelvis. And basically from here, all I would tell somebody is just to do a posterior pelvic tilt. So a posterior pelvic tilt is basically when you're tilting your pelvis backwards. So if you want to think about you having a tail, so if you had a tail and I was standing in front of you, I pulled the tail in front of you, that's going to naturally cause your pelvis to tilt backwards. And as that pelvis tilts backwards, that's all is needed. You should be feeling a stretch going down the front of your thigh, just with that simple movement. It's very subtle, it takes a little bit of practice just to get the feel for it. But once you get it, you can already feel the stretch from just that posterior pelvic tilt. Now, once, you're, once you've been able to do that posterior pelvic tilt easily and you want a way to make the stretch more challenging, is you can do a couple other things to make it more difficult. So, if you brought your toes, if you went up into a little bit of dorsiflexion with your toes, that's going to bring your knee into a little bit more bend. And that little bit more knee bend is going to, you're going to feel the stretch a bit more when you combine that with the tilt. Because when you bend your knee more, that's what muscle is being put on stretch. It's your rectus femoris or, or your quadricep muscle. So that's one way to, to, to make the stretch a little bit more intense. Another way to make the, the exercise or the stretch more intense is if you rotate your hip outwards. So that would be basically taking your back leg and bringing it so that your toe is in line with the front heel. So just this movement by rotating your hip outwards, it's going to put two muscles that are rotate, internal rotators, your TFL and your gluteus minimus. Once they're put on more, more stretch, that's going to bias more of the uh, stretch on your hip flexor muscles as well. So external rotation of the hip, posterior pelvic tilt, you're going to feel the stretch a lot more when your hip is in this position. So let's just do a recap. So the first level was just tilting your pelvis backwards. Okay, that's going to feel stretch on the front of the thigh. The next one is if you point or if you push your toes down into the ground to get a little bit more knee bend, that's going to bias a little bit more your quads in addition to that posterior pelvic tilt. The next one is going into external rotation. So bringing your foot on the back, bringing it basically in line with the heel of your front leg. That's gonna put the hip in more external rotation. And then if you combine that with the tilt, you're gonna stretch that TFL muscle, which is also a hip flexor, so more on the outside. And then now if you do a lean, so if you lean and kind of bring your hip out this way, and you do a posterior pelvic tilt, then you'll feel the stretch more on the outside. You're gonna stretch a little bit more of that TFL as well. One more variation you can do is if you rotate your hip inwards by bringing the back leg outwards, that's going to stretch a little bit more of that psoas muscle when you combine it with the posterior pelvic tilt. Because again, your psoas muscle, which is the primary hip flexor muscle, does not only hip flexion, but it also does rotation outwards. And to stretch a muscle, you want to do the movement that is opposite uh, to what shortens it. So if the hip flexors do hip flexion, how do you get out of that? You do that posterior pelvic tilt, which puts the hip in more extension. And that's why doing such a subtle movement allows you to get that stretch in the hip flexor. Try that hip flexor stretch out. 
No more just kind of leaning forward and thinking that you're stretching the hips because you're not. All you need to do is that posterior pelvic tilt and then some of the variations. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.